densely planted native species within a small plot of land the size of a tennis court. The concept was introduced by Indian engineer Shubhendu Sharma, who adapted and utilized the Miyawaki method to a forest landscapes by creating tiny, fast-growing forests. The Miyawaki method is a forest reconstruction system developed by Japanese botanist Akira Miyawaki, aiming to restore land through the creation of dense, multi-layer forests using native species that form the potential natural vegetation, or PNV. PNV is defined as the vegetation that is expected to develop in a given habitat in the absence of human influences and have appropriate properties suited to the native biota of the region. Together with the introduction of natural competition and selection, the Miyawaki method therefore encourages faster growth rates compared to conventional restoration techniques. Prior to the emergence of tiny forests, Miyawaki forest based on the Miyawaki method was first planted in Japan in the 1980s as environmental protection forests. Its success was due to the support of large corporations, local governments, and the publics and Miyawaki forests soon extended across more than 600 locations in Japan. The tiny forest concept later emerged and was popularized and trademarked by the Dutch through the Institute for Nature Education and Sustainability, IVN, under the guidance of Shubhendu Sharma. Tiny forests were introduced in the Netherlands as part of a societal initiative in 2016 to improve biodiversity in urban areas and encourage stronger connection to nature by city dwellers. The process of planting tiny forests in the Netherlands, following Sharma's methodology, which was ab adapted from the Miyawaki method, has encouraged rapid growth of the plant species and provided a plethora of benefits for the biodiversity and environment as seen in studies conducted in existing tiny forests. Tiny forests have emerged in many countries across the world beyond that of Europe since. And alongside the traditional Miyawaki forests, their benefits can be witnessed in those contexts. Benefits include the potential for the mitigation of natural disasters, as a platform for public to connect with the nature, minimal management needed after the forests are established, and as an effective landscape restoration technique for cities constrained by limited space over a range of climates. Limitations include the need for a comprehensive ecological survey, which requires professionals and sufficient resources, the labor intensive and expensive initial process, and that the extent of the benefits being dependent on the number of these forests, as tiny forests are tiny by definition. Nevertheless, it is clear that there is a growing enthusiasm for these concepts, and this provides the basis to explore tiny forests in the context of Canberra, the capital city of Australia situated within the Australian Capital Territory, or ACT. In 2020, Canberra welcomed its first microforest based on concepts from tiny forests, initiating a series of ongoing efforts to upscale this forest across Canberra. The project is a community-funded pilot project looking at revegetating the landscape, providing habitat, and cooling the environment in anticipation of a hotter and drier future. Started by Edwina Robinson, the founder of a local social enterprise, The Climate Factory, four additional microforests have since emerged or are in the plants and are mainly organized by the residents. Although tiny forests set the foundation for this microforest, modifications were made to accommodate them to the local context and provide a wider range of values. The Canberra microforest is of a smaller size than tiny forests, and water harvesting trenches not found in conventional tiny forests have been installed to ensure greater plant survival in Canberra's harsh climates. The microforest will also be regularly maintained by residents after its establishment to foster community spirit in the neighborhood. Additionally, High density plantings are concentrated in the understory instead of the overstory to ensure that dense plantings are kept at a maximum of 1.5 meters to adhere to the crime prevention through environmental design general code that exists in the ACT. Given the early phase of this project, the benefits and limitations of this microforest have not been established in Canberra. However, 
Some plants from the first microforest in Downer grew three meters tall in seven months. And it is expected that the biodiversity values will follow as witnessed in other cases. The process of engaging with the community in the initial phase and future management of the microforest also reflect its opportunity as a form of community engagement, which may aid in overcoming labor constraints. On top of the community, schools can be a great implementation route, allowing school children to participate in the plant planting and management of tiny forests. And through these planting programs, a positive social learning environment and healthy communities for these children to study and live in may, may be created, alongside fostering nature be loving behavior. Adaptive management aided by sound ecological knowledge and research and development are also encouraged for future implementations of tiny forests locally by the government. This therefore reflects the many opportunities the government can take to implement tiny forests based on current models of microforests and can potentially be incorporated into the local urban forest strategy to support biodiversity benefits and community engagement. In the face of climate change and urban densification, the concept of tiny forests has emerged as a promising response to deliver many of the benefits of urban trees and provide a pathway to a more resilient and livable environment, both in the world and in Canberra. While tiny forests may be tiny by definition, they have the potential for catalyzing disproportionate significant positive impacts with both the support of the community and the government. Current initiatives are a good opportunity for learning about implementing and growing tiny forests in Canberra. And future research is encouraged given the novelty of tiny forests locally. Thank you.